And folks, if you're listening to this on the audio side, we covered the other conferences, the uh, Arch Madness. Uh, what else was it? There was uh, there were three other conferences we covered. I'm fucking brain dead. Um, the Valley, WCC, SOCON, Summit, yeah. CAA today. Yeah, but some of those were on the first episode is my point. So go listen to the first episode Correct. for for the, the first three conferences there. Uh, let's know. pick some fucking winners. Uh, but before we do that, I want to tell you the college basketball experience is brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer-to-peer social betting platform that's U.S. based and available in 40 different states. They got P2P social betting, uh, and that is a brand new way and better way to bet. Uh, bet directly against your friends or other users on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with verifiable outcomes, plus tons of fun social features that give it a feel of a betting social network, so to speak. Cut offers lower vig and fully customizable odds. You can create your own bets, and right now we have a bet going on that we uh we did over here at sgpn and we invite you to take this on cut so get get that cut app hot so starting monday all the way to sunday we have an over under of one and a half buzzer beaters now it, it's got to be a true buzzer beater can't be an overtime buzzer beater you have to end the game with a outcome and there's got to be zeros on the clock but i am going to ride the over here you want to make some money hop on over to cut Take the over against, you know, against what we've set up here. So you're forcing us to take the under. Uh, get on over there. What the fuck's going on? All right, cut.com. 10% off with the promo code SGPN. Uh, we're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. It's also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry. Pick whether your favorite player is going to have a higher or lower stat total in this week's game for a chance to win big. You can win up to 100 times the amount of money you enter in a single night. Just pick between two and five players to build a pick-up entry. Um, so what are you doing, folks? Sign up today with the promo code SGPN. Get your first deposit doubled up to $100 as well as an instant pickup special. Visit Underdog Fantasy or find them in the App Store. And don't forget to register with the promo code SGPN to get your first deposit doubled up to $100 as well as an instant pickup special over at Underdog Fantasy. All right, we are back. And it's time to pick games. 9.30 in the morning for me. I'm just going to wake up and start watching classics. It is finally here. Madness is truly here now. Georgia Southern. Let's take it on. South Alabama there at Pensacola, Florida. At the Bay Center. Oh, man. What could go wrong when South Alabama's laying two and a half? Why is this line so short, Mac? <laughs> hey, this finally we have Dave basketball. Finally, finally, finally. And George Southern's going to get it done tomorrow, baby. They lock have to, right? Up, lock up, my guys. Oh. They played well down the stretch under uh, first-year head coach down there, uh, Henry, that came I over can't. from Alabama. Let's go. I can't, I can't lock. Let's go. You got to bet this. Southern. You got to bet this. It's the first one off the bat. They've been so bad this year, man. No, they finished strong. They did finish strong. If you remember, they're still three and seven in their last 10. They started 0 and 15. They're still three and seven in their last 10. Meanwhile, South Alabama six and four, which has me terrified. They're eight and 10 in league play. Why is the line so short? Let's go. On the midnight train to Georgia, take uh, take the Eagles. Let's go, Charlie Henry. Oh Let's man, go Eagles, baby, Statesboro, <laughs> Missouri State, Arch Madness. One hour later, Missouri oh. State, Murray State. The Racers are laying one and a half. Man, I had a hard time forecasting this one. I think Missouri State's going to get them. They have all seniors. Murray State's been all over the place for me this year. They've been a really hard team to understand. I understand the culture angle that you were building there, Mac. But I think the veterans are going to get the dub. Give me Missouri State to knock off Murray in Arch Madness. No bet. What are you doing here? No, oh, another bet for me, baby. Give me Murray. Murray, it's, they're going to have way more fans. They're going to have the crowd here at Arch Madness. That, that fan base travels. Murray State, way better than their record. Isn't talented. Springfield, Mass- uh, uh, not Massachusetts, Springfield, uh, Missouri is close to St. Louis, right? Yes, but no one cares. Murray, about Murray is also a psychotic fan base. They're, for for a mid-major, Murray's crazy. So give me Murray. 
they have more talent, in my opinion. Um, new season, better than the record. Let's go. Uh, Moneyline Mac locking up the racers. Coastal Carolina is getting 12 and a half at Louisiana, or not at Louisiana, but in Pensacola at noon against Louisiana. You take Coastal again. I mean, they have the advantage of playing the game, so I'll take yeah. the points. They're not going to win this game. They're not going to win this game, but Louisiana, I think Louisiana will win this game, but Coastal, Coastal, the advantage of playing the game, I think, is all the difference. They cover the 12 and a half. Yeah, yeah, Coastal's a fringe lock. Check the picture. I, I might bet this, too. Yeah, I, just, well, let's do it, let's man. Do it, I, let's, do it, let's do it. Come on. They, they already played a the game. They're ready to go. That, that's a huge edge to me. When you get yes. that first game and you can play that game, we saw it with Jacksonville. I think it's at least enough to cover. Valpo is getting 13 and a half against Belmont. Valpo with a big number always covers. Give me Valpo. I'll lay with Belmont. This line is fucking huge. They're telling us something's going on. Belmont's fucking rolling. Yeah. I mean, I just kind of expected the line would be like this, though, right? Thought it would be at least 12, 13, right? What's the line? 13. 13 right? and a half. Woo. Cocktail Napkin has it at 17. Then you should lock Belmont. I will, because they're my <laughs> long shot in this conference. <laughs> You're Let's welcome. go. <laughs> Give me the Bruins. <laughs> Thanks for the nudge, man. If you could see my... Uh, Noah's locking up uh, <laughs> uh, Belmont minus the points against Valpo. I've just been recording all day, so I just have like seven seven cans of, of carbonated water with like three glasses of alcohol. It's just stupid. Um... Pacific is at Pepperdine. Pepperdine's laying nine and a half. Pacific, didn't they fire their coach, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take Pacific. Should we should we take it on the money line? <laughs> Dude, this is March Madness. I mean, they're 0-16 in league play, but it's a new season. It's a brand new season. Who's Pepperdine to be laying nine and a half? I'm taking I'm taking the, I'm taking Pacific points. Yeah, Pacific. Check the picks page. Come on. <laughs> now I got a lock in this one. Texas State's taking out Southern Miss. Texas State might have got a little fortunate the other night. They capitalize on the fact they got to play a game. Gimme the red hot Bobcats. Who are seven and three in their last ten against Southern Miss, four and six in their last ten. What are you doing here, Mac? I agree with you. Texas State got that bad game out of their system, uh, survived, advanced. You got Southern Miss, on the other hand, interim head coach, pressure spot because they're the higher seed. Give me Texas State, play with house money. Let's go. Texas tough. Let's go, buddy. Double lock. Triple Bobcat. lock. <laughs> Trip it. Bobcat. Triple lock it. Bobcat. What could go wrong? Uh, Spinal. Let's go. Get after it with Texas State. Minus one and a half. Let's go. Uh, UAB. This is this is just a real. This is a regular season game here. UAB is at Temple. UAB is laying two and a half. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Give me UAB reluctantly. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'll take Temple, but I don't want to bet this one. This one, yeah. Oh, give me Temple. Where's UAB going to be mentally after that collapse? Also, <laughs> I mean, that was one of the worst collapses of the year. <laughs> Still, though, I mean, Temple's such a weird team. So, I don't know. Canisius is catching eight and a half at Fairfield. Oh boy. Uh, Fairfield minus the point system play. I like Fairfield here too. I, I, I'm it? not. That's a big number. It is a big number for yeah. MAAC. Yeah, um, I'm not betting the MAAC until the tournament. Although I do have an MAAC lock coming up here soon. <laughs> do you have a line? I was not able to find one for Iona and Manhattan. I think it was seven. Yeah, seven. Iona's laying seven. 
I'll at Manhattan, it. at the Jaspers. Yeah, I'll lay it, but I'm not betting. Yeah, I'll lay it too. Uh, Niagara is laying seven and a half at the Saints of Seattle. This is the one I think we should bet. Sienna, right? I was good. I wanted to bet Niagara because Sienna beat them at Niagara. Niagara finally lost their first road game. They've lost what three in a row now. I feel like it's a it's a take take everything out on fucking poor old Sienna here, and it's not a Sunday. Hmm. They've lost three in a row. Um, I'll take Niagara. No bet. I'm locking. Like play at seven. Actually, this Sienna. They're gonna fuck Sienna up. Sienna's god awful. All right, <laughs> you, you, you pressure me into this thing. Let's go. Purple Eagles minus seven and a half. Marist is at Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac's laying three and a half. Mm. I took the points. I'm taking the points too. Marist and the points. Rutgers is at Wisconsin. Wisconsin's laying nine and a half. Lay it, and I might lock this. Really? Yeah. Rutgers only scores like 53 points on the road every year. But Wisconsin only scores 60 yeah. at, home, at home because they're staples. Why is it nine and a half? This is like the Michigan State spread today. I know. That's why I want to take Rutgers. I, I'm going to lock Rutgers. I'm not, yeah. I'm not overthinking this. R- Rutgers is going to keep – this is just going to be a fucking rugby match, 65-60 or whatever. No bet from me. You can you can get your music. Give me Rutgers. Give me Rutgers. Rutgers plus nine and a half from Moneyline Mac. Now I will lock this one. Bucknell's getting four and a half against American. American's gonna fuck up Bucknell tomorrow. Lay the four and a half. Let's go. What are you doing here? I had this one circled too. Let's go, American. AU, baby. Let's go. Roll, roll, roll. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, the old rivalry is back. Lehigh, Lafayette. Lehigh's laying three and a half. Lock. Give me Lehigh minus three and a half. Mac? Oh, th- this is one of the biggest uh, telling lines of the day. The six seed laying three and a half at the three seed. Give me Lehigh all day. Lehigh, let's go. That was my exact angle. Yeah, this one's telling you what's going to happen here. Yeah, Lehigh plus this is at Lafayette. Come on now. I know. Triple lock with the Mountain Hawks. Let's go. Evansville's catching three and a half at Illinois State. I'm going to stay chalky. I'm going to lay the three and a half with Illinois State. That's not. This is in St. Louis, by the way. I'm, I'm sorry if I keep saying at. I just read it like that. Um, give me Illinois State. Minus three and a half. Mac? Give me Illinois State, too. Illinois State will be a French lock for me. I actually like this Illinois State team. Let's bet it. Let's bet it. All right, let's go. Redbirds. Redbirds. Minus three and a half against the Purple Aces. Let's go. Holy Cross is getting 18 and a half points. (laughs) Oh, boy. I did this. I did this in the regular season. I lost by forty. I feel like uh, I World bet Holy Cross. <laughs> I'm still taking Holy Cross. All right, and I like the fact they played a game. I'm taking the points. Yeah, you want to bet it? Yes. <laughs> Holgate's not as good as they've been. We've been saying that. I'm not going to back away off that Holy Cross. Crusaders plus eighteen and a half double lock. Beena coming in for this? You guys haven't been saying that Colgate's not as good as they've been more than system. You've been no, saying system, system a hell two of a weeks lot ago. More. Two, system. three weeks I left, ago. I abandoned the system. Three weeks ago, we got off. You guys, the you guys have been saying system a hell of a lot more than. But then we abandoned it. We said, oh, alert, alert, bo- abort, abort. <laughs> yeah. No. So what are you going to do? Lay it? I'm laying it with the Raiders. Lock Give me the toothpaste. Lock <laughs> it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the time when they turn it on. Oh, uh, you're fucking cocktail you're... napkin minus 20 and a half. Let's go Colgate. Mm. Put it on. We got a toothpaste. battle. Noah riding with the toothpaste. Mac Dundee said Crusaders. Let's go. 
system. Navy is taking on Boston. BU's laying three and a half. Eh, I'll lay the three and a half with BU. You can talk me into a lot. I don't think Navy's any good. But is BU ready for this? Because Navy's hot lately. I kind of think Navy's going to win. <laughs> Give me Navy. Yeah. Navy's got the momentum. Yeah. Fringe a lot. Check the picks page. Getting, getting points. I think they're going to win. This game, this next game is awesome. IPFW is taking on Oakland at Oakland, where IPFW won. Each team won on the road in their Uh matchups. Uh Uh-oh. Oakland's laying three and a half. Beanick is sweating this one. The one seed's only laying three and a half? (laughs) I'm actually going to take Oakland, though. I think think their offense is, is the real difference maker here, but I don't feel good about it. This is not a bet by any means. Give me Oakland minus three and a half. What are you doing here? I got a bet. I'm betting Fort Wayne. I... I, they've already got the game under their belt. The pressure of the one seed in this tournament, the horizon is always a shit show. Give me yeah. Fort Wayne money line. Campy goes out early. I, he's going back to McDonald's. <laughs> money line, Mac, locking up the airport of IPFW. Did you talk about McDonald's on the show before? Or? No, did you, you see the commercial with yes. Campy at? Uh, no, I didn't talk it's about it. But I, saw, I saw the ad. I, saw I love social. Yeah, I love Campy, but yeah, yeah. No, you, I would you, love nothing more. This? I would love mo- nothing more than to see uh, Campy win it and possibly go to the NCAA tournament, go out on a high note if he wants to. I'm not betting this. I'm coming in here with insight. Actually, it's a home game for Oakland, but nobody's going to be there at spring break. Woo! Uh oh, Fort Wayne, baby, Fort Wayne. Yeah, I think you just swayed my pick. You swayed my pick. Give me yeah, IPFW now. We're gonna I, have another saw, one go down tomorrow. I think they're doing three dollar tickets tomorrow just to Why get people there. God, they're the one seat. But, Why would they set that up though? It's so tough. It's spring break the next week, you fucking losers. <laughs> they can't uh, change it. I, I'm gonna pull. I'm pulling it up now. They they tweeted out something that they. I mean, beginning of the do. year. Make sure it doesn't align. You can change it. Beginning all, of the year. all students get in free with a valid student ID. They're desperate to fill this thing up. Mm. So. They're fucked. Um, Cleveland State's catching nine and a half at Youngstown State. I'm taking the Vikings plus nine and a half. I think it's a game. Both teams just loaded with seniors. I feel like I was going through their starting fives. They're like fucking nine seniors. This is a pride game. Give me the points. Youngstown's probably going to win. Give me the yeah. I, don't think it's, I don't think it's that crazy that the money line could hit for, for Cleveland State, by the way. No, for, for, it, for that juicy of a, of a of a money line play. Yeah, and I mean, to our angle, Cleveland State already got a game under their belt too. I mean, they um, they beat Uwe Pui the other night, so going to Young Sound, pressures on Young Sound again. A lot of pressure. Young Sound lost as the number one seed last year. I like Cleveland State here to keep this puppy close. I see, and I know Michael's saying plus three forty-five. I see plus three sixty out there. Yeah, this is a lock. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, let's go. So, let's this is go. a horizon. Dog yes. it up. Nine and a half. I was shocked at this. Oh boy, the what could happen here? I, I there's so many games at the four o'clock slate. I want to watch. One was Cleveland State Youngstown. One's IPFW Oakland. You know they're playing these at the same fucking time for some strange reason. Uh there's others too, like the American game, but Jacksonville, red hot Jacksonville is coming yeah. back to Florida. And they're taking on Stetson. Stetson's laying six, six and a half. I think the magic runs out here. I'm locking up Stetson. I am too. Minus the points. All right. You had a, a good nice run. trip to Kentucky. All right. Stetson minus the points. Double lock. But this I, love, one, I love Jacksonville, but I think it ends here. Yeah, I do too. Hold uh, on. I'm coming in the triple bring, lock this thing. Stetson yeah. owns the state of Florida. I had to go look at the previous two results. They covered this number both times. Give me the Hatters. Like I said, they own the state of Florida. Triple lock on Stetson minus six. Six and a half. Jump around. Um. Jacksonville, start your fucking football program back up. Why would you ever take it away, you filthy, filthy cowards? Um, 
This game's awesome, too, at the same fucking time. North Alabama's getting three and a half against Austin P. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have a future in Austin P. So I have to take them. But am I terrified of this game? 1,000%. All right. Give me Austin P. No bet. Mac? I'm going to bet the Govs. The, I think the, Gov, the Govs played like shit the other night. I think it's a nice bounce back here. Uh, settle in here in this bracket. Just like Stetson, they see the one seeds out, lock in, get to the title game. North Alabama's off the fucking miracle win. Um, Hail yeah, Mary. Three, huh? They were looking good early in that game. They did, they did but I, I, I like I like taking the teams the next game after they played like shit the f- previous game but found a way to win. Give me the Govs, lock it up. We're going to have some chalk in the A Sunday morning. Oh, join you. I got the fucking future, so I might as well burn in hell if I fucking uh, <laughs> if I lose. No you know. key. Uh, let's go. Give me the governors. Southern Utah is getting six and a half at Stephen F. Austin. This is this is a normal game. We're back to normal games for a second here. Um, we should talk about this though because the WAC. So right now in the WAC, we saw Grand Canyon uh, get clinch at what a share of the championship, the regular season championship. But Tarleton's right on their ass, half game back. After that, it's a big drop off. UT Arlington's the three seed, but they only have a half game lead under over Seattle. Uh, and in this particular game, you have Southern Utah, who is, is you know, they're, they're they're not having the greatest season, but they are sitting back there at uh, what? Second to last. And I think they have two games left. So I guess technically they could s- sneak up and, and get Utah tech spot. But on the other side of it is you have Stephen F. Austin that is tied with Cal Baptist and only a uh, a game behind Abilene Christian and Utah Valley. So seating at stake here. Stephen F. Austin's lay at six and a half. I'll I'll take the points in, in Southern Utah. What are you doing here? Same. Same. They've lost seven in a row, but they've played well. I yeah. mean, they've they've been competitive. Southern Utah for me. Uh South Carolina State. Taking off, taking on North Carolina Central. Once again, this is a normal game here. Central's laying six and a half, man. I'll take Central, but no luck. Same. Yeah, I'll take Central because it's um, the culture of Lavelle Moton. But like you said, uh, South Carolina State under Emart's been really good this year. So uh, I'll take Lavelle Moton, but no bet. Morgan State's laying seven and a half against Coppin. Coppin's covering this rivalry. We should take Coppin, yeah. Coppin. Um, Tennessee State taking on Western Illinois OVC tournament. Western Illinois laying two. I'm laying the two. But I hate how Tennessee State got the game, the playing game. You know? So it makes me a little nervous. I have a future on, on, on the Leathernecks, but... I don't know. Give me the lead the next. What are you doing here? I'm on Tennessee State. Uh, like you said, I, I think it's an advantage playing the game the night before. Um, get acclimated with the arena. Give me a, give me Tennessee State here um, with the points. Delaware State is taking on Maryland Eastern Shore. Delaware State's laying three and a half. This line stinks, but we should probably bet uh, Delaware State, right? I think we should, but I'm staying away. It reeks. Yeah. Ah, fuck it. I'll fly there. Delaware State minus three and a half. Let's go. Utah Valley's getting five and a half at Tarleton. Tarleton can clinch or, you know, can clinch a share of the the regular season championship. I think Tarleton's going to stick it to Valley. I'll lay the five and a half. Mac? Mac? I'm gonna I'm gonna lock up Utah Valley. I I think the the whole Gillespie thing is a little bit of a distraction, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Carlton, folks. If, if folks don't know about this Gillespie, who they thought was going to retire and they were going to hire yeah. what's what's his name Jones, who's the assistant. I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. Um, uh, who's done a great job this year? 
they, yeah. they they thought this was the future, but no, they just re-signed uh, Gillespie for a couple of years. So that is a little tricky. Yeah, uh, the situation they, they have there. Um, yeah, give me Valley. Give me Valley. Va- Valley's better than their record too, and they were hot and um, until the other night when uh, Arlington got them. Give me Valley. Lock it up against Charleston. I think they're going to win the game outright. On in line, man, locking up Valley. I'm still sticking with Charleston. They're playing for something. Uh, St. Peter's is at Ryder. Ryder's laying one and a half. What could go wrong here? You got two red hot New Jersey teams dueling it out. Ryder's won six straight. The Peacocks have won uh, five straight. Something's got to give at the old alumni gymnasium there. I am going to take the moving company. Me too. Moving company's yeah. rolling. Let's go. You're the moving company minus one and a half. Don't feel strong about it though. Seattle is laying one and a half at Abilene Christian. I just I just touched on this. Uh the seating is very tricky here. Seattle is a game and a, a half game back from UT Arlington. Abilene Christian, though, is just two games back from them, and I believe they have two games left. So it, it's a little tricky. Uh Seattle is laying one and a half. I'll take Seattle to win this game. What are you doing here? Same. I, I, I'm going to take Seattle as well. Um, they're playing for something, like you said. Cal Baptist is getting six and a half at UT Arlington. UT Arlington has been just winning fucking games lately. They won five straight. And all of a sudden, they're the three seed. Cal Baptist kind of sh- shitty down the stretch here. Uh, just, f- what, uh, four and eight on the road this year. Um, give me UT Arlington. They're fucking a machine right now. What are you doing here? I'm taking Cal Baptist and I'm locking it. Same, same logic as Valley. I think this is the week where some of these teams that are red hot in the whack come back a little bit. Uh, let's go. Give me Cal Baptist. One in line, Mac locking up the Lancers of Cal Baptist. Phoenix, do you have a play on this one? Yeah, this is a log battle. I'm on the Mavs. Here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the party, pal. We got a battle. Phoenix going with the Mavericks of UT Arlington. Start your football program. Uh, Mac riding with the likes of Cal Baptist. Let's fucking go. Uh, we have I, a bunch I of win streaks in this league, by the way. Tarleton's won 10 in a row. Arlington's won five. Abilene Christian's won six in a row. I hate to be Sean Green, but there's a huge free throw discrepancy in this matchup. Nope. And also, Arlington, number one three-point shooting team in the conference. They're hot right now. Uh, so I'm on the mask. There we go. Uh, Northern Kentucky, right State. So, Man. by the way, Colby... When you play a sound or a music for the next, your first five words, your voice is like really, really low. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I've just noticed just recently the last couple of times that it started off low. It's fading. It's fading as we go. Mm. This fucking shit. I'm going to throw this out the window. Um, Keep going. uh, (laughs) Look, so I have a future on right seat. I just built a case for them to win the Horizon, but I'm terrified of this matchup because Northern Kentucky's won, what, four of the last seven Horizon League championships? Yeah. Give me the points in the Norse. Wright State wins it by two. So give me the seven and a half. What are you doing here? I, we have to lock Northern Kentucky. Yes, yes, right. And I love Wright State. Uh, I think this game's going to come right down the wire. Northern <laughs> Kentucky, lock it up. Double lock on Northern Kentucky. Rob's still shitting on my shells. My shells are accurate. They're <laughs> fucking accurate. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nichols is getting three and a half points at Southeast Louisiana. Oh, boy. It's a good game. It's a low-key little fun little game here in the Southland. Uh, give me Sela minus three and a half. You could talk me into a lock. I would. I had Sela as a fringe lock too. Should we? Yeah. Playing better, man. Lions minus the points against Nichols. Let's roll. 
They, this and, is, and, and they're uh, two games back in nickel, so they got to have this one to have, give himself uh, to be a top four seed. Mississippi Valley State's getting 17 and a half points against Alcorn State. Give me the points. This is a, this is a Mississippi battle here. It's a rivalry game. Give me the points. No bet. Yeah, yeah you won't be seeing me bet this game. Uh, <laughs> Mississippi uh, Give me Valley. Let's go. <laughs> APB's at Jackson State. Two of my darlings this year. APB's catching eight and a half. It's a lot of points. But I think Jackson State's the side. I'm going to lay the eight and a half. What are you doing here? I agree with you. I agree with you here. Grambling is at Alabama A&M. Grambling's only laying two and a half. Why? Why? I Why? saw this. I was Why? Like, what the fuck? Give me Alabama A&M. No bet. I just, I just want to pull this up again. I just find this. Something reeks here. Something reeks so, here. So, Grambling does have a two-game lead. So they've clinched, right? Is that the angle? They've they, because they have a two game lead on Southern and Alcorn State and Texas Southern. There's two games left. So they might have the tiebreaker on them. I don't know. If they win this one, we should fade them on Saturday for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Um mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, Alabama A and M might be a lock for me. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you great. guys. Alabama A and M horrible. I'm not sure if you guys have different windows up and aren't looking at the chat, but Hasty brings up a good question here: Is Grambling going to rest guys? Ah, uh, I don't know if it's so much rest guys, um, but they will go through the motions. Give me Alabama a No luck, though. We should do it. <laughs> They're so bad. I watch them. Know. They are so yeah. bad. Uh, <laughs> I hate betting on games I can't even watch because it can't even access the network. <laughs> <laughs> Southern is getting one and a half at Alabama State. What did I just talk about? I said Southern's right there creeping along. We should lock this. Why is Alabama State favored? <laughs> That's why I'm I'm out. I'm out on this game. This line reeks. <laughs> fucking swack lines are crazy. Fucking out. The Alabamas yeah. are fucking with us right now. <laughs> uh, I'm taking Southern. No bet. Marshall is getting one and a half against Georgia State. They just played. This is a close game, if memory serves me correct, too, right? It was a three-point game on Friday yeah. night at Georgia State. Marshall's State won, win. though. Yeah, I think Marshall does win this one. Marshall I'm plus one Marshall. and a half. Woo! Marshall lock. I can't lock that. They're going to get right here. Moneyline Mag locking up Marshall. They're a good tourney team. Now you can talk me into locking this one because Colorado's horrible on the road. Oregon's laying two and a half. Quack, quack, quack. Give me the Ducks minus two and a half. Double lock. Sorry, buffs. Um, this game's awesome. First place on the line. Ruston, Louisiana. Sam Houston State, who beat La Tech in the Bear Claw in Huntsville, Texas. Now they got to go to Ruston. The winner will get the one seed in the CUSA. La Tech's laying eight and a half. This is shot up a point since I did the show this, this afternoon. I think we should lay it. I think they're going to fuck them up tomorrow. I'm on Sam Houston, man. I, I like Sam Houston. I'm locking Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech's going to drill them. They're going to drill them. Lay in the eight and a half. Like I said, seven and a half is better, but jump in. You want to battle? Yeah. I, I, I like this Sam Houston team, man. They fucking they play hard. They're going to keep this thing close, have a chance to win it outright. Sam Houston, this fucking Louisiana Tech shit out of here. We'll say you're getting the best of the number. But let's go. Let's go. We got a battle. Dundee riding with the Bulldogs. Mac riding with the Bearcats. The Howard Bison are taking on Norfolk State. And this is a huge game. This is a huge game. This is Norfolk State has a one game lead on Howard and South Carolina State. 
Norfolk State's fire at home, though. Norfolk State's laying four and a half. I think I'm still going to take Howard, though. Give me Howard in the four and a half. They've won four straight. They're hot right now. What are you doing here? Yeah, I, I was going to say Howard's a fringe lock. So check the picks page, everybody. See, Clark's on Norfolk there. Interesting. Um, Florida International is catching eight and a half against UTEP. <laughs> if you bet this, good luck. <laughs> I'll lay it. If I use horrible on the road, I'll lay it with UTEP. No bet. I'll obviously. lay it. Yeah, I'll lay it too. So we got the Pac-12 going on where if Washington State wins this game and another outcome happens later in the night, they could be. We got the, the Apple Cup on the hardwood. Washington at Washington State. Wazoo's laying six and a half. Lay it. You could talk me into a lock here. You think they're going to draw them in the last meeting? I think they're going to win by eight. <laughs> Free throws at the end. I'm locking Washington. This is going to be a one possession game. One last time with these two. Washington's going to keep this close. They got, they got, they got fucking dudes too. They're going to get up for this one. Let's do better. Sunday riding with the Cougs. Let's go. Mac taking the Huskies of Washington. Milwaukee is taking on Green Bay. Horizon League action. Green Bay is a one and a half point favorite. Do we know the status? Of no Reynolds? Yes. According to his Instagram story, he said, see you Thursday. Give me Milwaukee plus one and a half. <laughs> even Sometimes if you plays. come back and you try to do too much. Yeah, even if he plays, man. Let's go. Lock, lock up Milwaukee. Uh, I'm not locking this one, but you can ride on the Panthers here. Panthers. Panthers. They just beat it, they just beat it by 22. Panthers. Let's go. I got a lock here. Arizona's heading into Westwood. Lay a nine and a half. No, no, no. UCLA blew a 17-point lead. Yeah. UCLA is live in this game. Give me the Bruins. baby. Give me the Bruins plus nine and a half. Sprinkle a little bit on the money line. You with it? All right. You saw Absolutely. Me. Absolutely. They've lost. How many have they lost in a row, too? This is a get-up spot for UCLA and the Bruins. Um, Arizona, a little bit of a letdown here. Triple lock, Noah? I don't agree with the letdown because they're playing for the conference. But. UCLA has uh, been a thorn in Arizona's side lately. Mick Cronin. Especially Mick Cronin against Tommy Lloyd. Yeah. So, give me the Bruins. I'm with you guys. I'll take the point. Triple lock with the Bruins. Let's go back to Arch Madness. UIC is catching five and a half against Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois is actually the closest team mileage-wise to Arch Madness. I'll lay the five and a half. They're going to feel a little bit at home. I t I'm taking the points. I think it's a one possession game. Arch Madness, late window, maybe. <clears throat> UC Santa Barbara's at Long Beach State. Long Beach State's laying four and a half. Once again, this all matters. Long Beach is jockeying for a position. Let me just jump back to the Big West. I believe Long Beach is currently the four seed. They could get to the – they're battling with Hawaii – that spot and they could catch Davis a uh, huge game here going on. And then it's a rivalry, I guess, right? Yeah. And Santa Barbara also in the mix too. to Santa Barbara could potentially still get the five seed. Um, uh, fascinating game going on here. Um, I think Long Beach is better than Santa Barbara this year. I'll lay the four and a half. So, I'm going to, I'm going to take Monson. Gonna... Monson um, uh, Monson was fired. Also told, was told he was fired at the end of the year. Um, he should be, in my opinion. I mean, look, you got to. Their t team is more talented than their 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 records the past couple. I'm years. taking Barbara. I'm taking Barbara. <clears throat> uh, Fullerton is at Riverside. Riverside's laying three and a half. I will bet Riverside here. Let's 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 lock up Riverside. Minus All right, the points. Let's go. Let's go. Riverside. Let's go. Play the three and a half with with the Highlanders. 
UC Davis is at UC San Diego. It's a huge game. So UC San Diego's laying six and a half, but this is what I'm talking about. San Diego's a game back from Irvine. Davis is three games back from Irvine, but just two games back of the Titans. And Long Beach State's potentially on their ass. So, fun game here. I think UC San Diego's going to fuck with them, though. I will lay the six and a half. I took Davis in the points, no bet. Do we have a line on SIU, Edwardsville, and Moorhead State? I could not find this earlier. Moorhead's laying eight. I'll take the points. Moorhead wins by six. What did they do the first couple meetings? Uh, they lost at Edwardsville. They beat Edwardsville by 11. I think we have to take the points here. Yeah. Too big a number. Yeah. All right, folks. we got a couple more games left. But before we do that, I want to tell you the college basketball experience is brought to you by Manscaped. Top of the morning to you. This episode is brought to you by St. Patrick's uh, Shamrock Shavers Manscaped. This year, don't just chase rainbows. Make your... Make your own pot of gold, all right? And, and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders in below the kilt care. Say goodbye to your uh, clover forest with uh, Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and let your confidence shine bright. And look, I can I can honestly tell you, ever since I used Manscaped, I have uh, I've found my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So what are you doing? Hop on over there. This thing's got three different... Three different, uh, you know, uh, edges. Uh, they're just fantastic. Three different blades. They got a foil blade. They're, they have to get the shit for the classic trim. Uh, you can it just, it, it's, it, it can go in the fucking water. You could be in the middle of the Pacific Ocean shaving. I'm telling you, it, it's fantastic. They got LED lights. Those things are fun. Even when you're by yourself, just playing those fucking things. Uh, just a lot of fun. Get on over. Get 20% off and free shipping with the promo code SGPN at manscaped.com. That's 20% off free shipping with the promo code SGPN at manscaped.com. We're also brought to you by Champs. Champs is hosting a free March Madness bracket contest for a chance to win $1,000. Plus, if you host your own uh, March Madness pool on Champs, you'll get an extra free entry into that $1,000 bracket contest. Uh, Tiebreakers are determined by who enters you know, first. So get on over there and register now. Head to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash champs. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash champs. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NBA season with Hall of Fame Bets, a sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame Bets to craft more intelligent, data-driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start research and start winning with Hall of Fame Bets. All right. A couple games left. Cal, Stanford, they hate each other. Stanford's laying three and a half. No, 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 no. You know who this matters? You know, Jared Haas is fired. He's got to be. And they should have hired Mark Madsen. Uh, he's now at Cal. And he's got this one circled. Lock. Cal. Plus yeah. three and a half. Yep. Yep. Let's go. Ride that money line. Cal. Let's go. They're they're better. Yes. And they're getting points. Wrong team favored. Double lock. Arizona State's getting eight and a half at USC. <laughs> you can talk me into a lock on USC here. I was thinking the same thing too, man. They're rolling. They do, but they have Arizona on deck. That is true. Yeah, I'm, I'm off the game. Yeah. And final game of the night, Utah fighting for their lives, laying six and a half in Corvallis. I think we should lock Utah. That's a pressure spot there, though. Tankle's fired, right? They're going to fire him, right? Yeah, but Oregon State's fucking a pain in everybody's ass at home. I'm going solo here. Give me Utah minus the points in Corvallis. Lock it up. Lock it up. What are you doing here? I'll take the beeves. No bet. All right. Top play of the day because we're done with all those. Man, it's a lot of fucking games. I know. Um, I, I'll be honest. Those Horizon ones stood out to me. And also, I like Texas State against Southern Miss. Like all those ones that, that we've seen them play. I think it was Cleveland State getting nine and a half at Youngstown. I feel really good about. I feel really good about Lehigh. 
yeah. and American. Like a, a lot of the tournament games, I feel fr- pretty fucking good about. If I had to decide one, Stetson, I like too. Um, mm. If I had to decide one, I would say I'll just continue riding Texas State. I think they're going to beat. I don't know, though. They look like shit the other night. Hang on. Hang on. I'm changing my fucking pick. It's American minus four and a half against Bucknell. <laughs> top play. Where are you going, Mac? Ah, uh, top play. Let's go with balls. We won. UCLA, baby. Getting that many points. Mick Cronin has Tommy Lloyd's number. That'll be a one possession game. Let's go. Phoenix. Lehigh, minus three and a half at Lafayette. I love that. In a rivalry game in conference tournament, you have the six seed laying points on the road against the three seed. The line's telling you what to do. There you go, folks. Give Noah Beanick a follow on Twitter at NoahB77 underscore, even if he is eating a fucking meal in the middle of the show. All right. Uh, Moneyline Max is on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. College Basketball Experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. Check out the Sports Gambling Podcast. Check out the college, uh, the Big 12 College Experience. Obviously, a bunch of big-time games coming up soon. Uh, uh, what else? The FCS College Football Experience. The College Football Experience. The College Baseball Experience. Shit everywhere. Ryan and Rush Show. Scattering the board. All right? Uh, I don't know. I'm fucking talking for eight hours. I'm out. All right? And have a wonderful night. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow because we have a bunch of games. And uh, we're grateful for everyone in the chat. Uh, 555 people tuning in right now. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. That helps us so much, folks. If you can get to YouTube and subscribe, it really, really helps us. So uh, please do that. Also, hop on over to iTunes. Give us a five-star review. Uh, Until next time, folks, this is the College Basketball Experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here.